I, I want to be part of the small but militant motley crew that draws connections between the theology of Herman Bovink and the theology of, of Van Til, <laughs> because not many people are out there doing it. Um, everyone loves Bovink, I, but uh, not but, everyone loves Van Til these days. <laughs> there's a big long Bovink train, but yep. they don't realize that it's connected to a big long Van Til train. Too. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so I pulled off this book off my shelf. This is James Eglinton's Trinity and Organism. Uh, it was his his uh, dissertation, I think. Um, yeah, I published believe so. in, and then revised in uh, right. 2012. Yeah. Um, okay, page 67. He quotes Bavink uh, from R.D. Volume 2, pages 435 and 436. This is Bavink. There is a most profuse diversity in the cosmos, and yet in that diversity there is also a superlative kind of unity. The foundation for both diversity and unity is in God. Here is a unity that does not destroy, but rather maintains diversity, and a diversity that does not come at the expense of unity, but rather unfolds it in its richness. In virtue of this unity, the world can metaphorically be called an organism, in which all the parts are connected with each other and influence each other reciprocally. So Bavink's main thesis, according to Eglinton in this book, is that God reveals analogically through creation and its history something of the equal ultimacy of unity and diversity in himself. Uh, the heavens declare the glory of God. The sky above proclaims his handiwork in part by unfolding before our eyes the multifaceted glory of God that finds its archetype in the equal ultimate, equally ultimate unity and diversity of God himself. And I just wanted to lay that out there for the listener that, that Van Til is reading Bavink, he's unpacking Bavink, and he's going to be applying the theology of Bavink in service of apologetics. Uh, and he does it right here as he's unfolding uh, the distinctive character of a Christian philosophy of reality. Oh, that's that's beautiful, brother. Uh, what, one thing that complements that,